Hi again everyone, I'm doing this a little bit later than usual, um, life's just got so busy recently, um, I hope you're all well, uh, and as the saying goes, better late than never, we are still in March just, um, so I am still getting this in as the March unboxing, and it is of course my favourite, now I did actually miss the original delivery of this which didn't help, um, but it is my favourite, the Natural Beauty Box, um, so I had to get this re-delivered. It came initially on Saturday and I was um, out doing my shopping, um, so I had to get it re-delivered and it came on Tuesday this week, so obviously got it a little bit later than I normally would as well. But this is my favourite box, as I'm sure most of you are aware by now, you're probably used to me rambling on about this in all of my unboxing videos. But for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with this box, they are a natural beauty subscription box and they send out natural beauty products, of course. Um, they're cruelty free, they're often vegan, often organic, and they also do a plastic free edit every quarter as well. So this is, of course, the March box. There's a theme every month as well. And the theme for March is indulgence. So. I'm just going to kind of keep this off to the side because there's a little bit of information about the products on there that I can refer to as we're going along. Um, but without further ado, I will peel tissue back and I'll just kind of hold it up to show you. And then we'll go into each product individually as we always do. So there's one on the top that's kind of obscuring the others. So I'll just kind of lift that up. Um, but there are four items in there. So I will take out the first one. I've seen a couple of spoilers, but not everything. So I'm very excited to see. So this is a brand that I am familiar with. I've tried, I think I've tried one of their hand creams before and a, one of their cleansers, I think it was. Anyway, um, this is Odalik and it is their mini prebiotic rich hydration cream, which is worth £10. So this is intensely moisturising, calming and smoothing um, with the first scientifically proven prebiotic extracted from chicory root. It protects the skin by rebalancing its microbiota and helps the skin form a natural defensive shield against the environment, reducing sensitivity, inflammation and irritation. Now, I was going to try and get it out, but it appears the seal is on the top, so I'm just going to do it from the bottom there. So, yeah. Just a nice, cute little um, little tube, perfect for travelling, I think that would be as well. In fact, that might be what I use it for. Um, you've probably heard me mention before, I have a trip booked in October to Costa Rica. Um, and obviously I'm not going to be wanting to lug all my big uh, normal skincare products that I use. So this sort of thing would be perfect for that. Um, now it does say that there's pomegranate and frankincense in there as well. I'm just going to see if there's anything else. It's vegan, I can see on there. It's um, or Soil Association Organic, cruelty free of course. Um, and that's in French, so that's not, <laughs> that's not helpful. Um, but yeah, that's item number one. Always a big fan of seeing them again been wanting to try a few more of their products as well. They're a brand that I'm familiar with and I've tried a couple of products from, but not a lot. So always kind of happy to, to try a few more. Now we have the item which I think adds a lot of value to this box, or at least it's the one with the highest recommended retail price. And it also adds a lot of weight to it because it's huge. Um, and this is again, I th I've tried a shower gel from them. I've tried Oh, like a body gel. In fact, I've still got it. I used it last night. Um, but this is No Secrets Beauty number one, and it's their hand and body butter, which is worth £39. Um, so but it's it's so heavy. It's like 200 grams. Um, and obviously you can see the branding just looks really luxurious. It looks like it belongs in a spa. Um, but this is a smooth and silky hand and body lotion packed with some real skin heroes. The perfect way to nourish, moisturise and fragrance the skin with a rich blend of bl uh, blend of butters even and plant oils brimming with antioxidants, vitamins and restorative goodness. So you massage it into your body basically as you would any body cream to moisturise, soften, smooth and restore the skin for utter skin indulgence. Now I think it was the number one that I've had before. Um, I think it was the shower gel. Um, that I had in number one. So all of their scents are named like 
numbers, so one, two, three, etc. Um, that I recall anyway. So yeah, it definitely is. So that's kind of the, the texture of it. I'm just gonna get a little bit, there's a little bit on the hair, so I'm just gonna kind of pop a little bit on onto my skin here and just rub it into my hands just to see the uh, consistency and how it sinks in. I often find some hand and body butters are a little bit greasy. However, I can already feel this one is immediately absorbing in nicely and doesn't feel sticky or anything, which is another thing that I don't like in certain uh, hand and body butters. And it smells, it smells so nice. I can't even tell you what it smells of because I'm not very good at identifying <laughs> the smells of things, um, but it's, it's gorgeous. Um, I'm just trying to see if it will give me a clue on here. I can definitely smell bergamot in there. Um, but everything else, I'm a little bit, a little bit stumped, but that is gorgeous. And that will go straight on my pile to use next. We now have another brand that I've tried before, but not for a while. So I'm happy to be reintroduced again. So this is Lady Green and this is their Gentle Face and Neck Scrub, which is worth £15. And this has a blend of cellulose particles and jojoba beads, which gently remove dead skin cells and unclog the pores. It has aloe vera and neem to provide a pore refining cleanse, while kiwi and apple extracts refine the complexion and ensure renewed radiance. And it's finished off with a nice fresh spa-like scent, which I'm now going to see. Oh yeah, oh that's gorgeous. That definitely, the kiwi and apple hits straight away which is very nice and summery, which is what we like. We're finally starting to look like we're actually heading towards spring and summer here in the UK now. Um, so nice to have products that also um, embody that. I'm just trying to see if there's any more information on here than I that I haven't already said. 98% um, ingredients from a natural origin. Again, vegan, organic, and it's for combination to oily skin, although I'm sure most people could use it. Um, my skin tends to err on the side of normal slash combination a little bit, depends on the time of the month. I'm sure you ladies know what I'm talking about. Um, so I will definitely get use out of this. I love a good face scrub and I haven't used one for a while. So I'm definitely excited to give that a go. And then the last item when I can get the things off it, there we go, is from a brand I've not actually heard of, which is always nice. And it's Paulby and it's their bath soak salts, which are worth four pounds. So these are handmade herbal bath salts to leave you feeling renewed and relaxed alongside a wide range of other wonderful benefits to nourish your body from head to toe. Um, so I'm just gonna see um, if it says what oils and things are in there. Cardamom seed, lavender, rosemary. Yeah, there's quite a lot of <laughs> different things in there. Um, I don't actually have a bath here at my flat, I only have a shower, um, but this sort of thing I like to use as like a foot soak, uh, which they work equally as well for that kind of thing. But also, you know, I, I take them with me to, to places where I'm going if there's going to be a bath there and I can sneak in there. Um, so never sad to see bath salts, even though I, I don't have a bath here because they will get used. Um, so that is the final item. That brings the the collective total up to £68 for the March box. Now, in terms of the prices for the box, you pay £24.95 per month. So obviously that £68 that these products are worth, you're paying a, a fraction of that. Um, you can also prepay for three months, which is £71.10, or for six months, which is £138. Uh, you can also purchase a one-off box if you just want to buy the one particular box that catches your eye and you don't want to commit to a subscription, um, you can pay £25.95 just for that one box. You can also subscribe on a bi-monthly basis, which means you get a box every other month. Um, and again, £24.95 every other month for that. As I mentioned at the start of the video, they also do a plastic free version. Um, so this is every quarter. If you just want to subscribe to the plastic free edits and not the other boxes, you can do that. And again, that will be £24.95 per quarter. They also have a couple of other options on the on the website as well. Um, so they have a lucky dip box, which is £12.95 and you get, um, I think it's three items um, from previous boxes. 
um, but obviously you don't know what they are, it's like a mystery, a lucky dip, it's in the name. Uh, but also if you want a little bit more control over what you are getting in your box, they also have a pick and mix. Um, so you can choose three items for £15 or you can choose four items for 20 And they're obviously items that have been featured in previous boxes, although of course they have to be in stock. Um, but whatever they have will be on the website and you can choose from them. All of those options come with free delivery in the UK. So, <laughs> at the risk of rambling on too long, as I know I often do when it comes to this box, because I could talk about it all day, let's recap. So I'm just going to grab, so there were the Holby bath salts. We have the Lady Green face and neck scrub. The No Secrets Beauty hand and body butter, which I now have on my hands smelling very nice indeed and the Odalique um, mini prebiotic rich hydration cream and again a grand total of £68 for the indulgence march edit. One thing that I do love about this box is that they include brands and products that you won't see or you don't tend to see very often in other subscription boxes. Um, I've been introduced to a wide variety of different brands and products that I would probably, I may have come across, but it might have taken me a little bit longer um, or I may never have, have come across. And certainly some of the products that I've been sent are not necessarily things that I would think to try myself, uh, which is an, again another beauty of a subscription box is the opportunity to try things that maybe you wouldn't ordinarily do. I've gone on to repurchase many an item from this box. Always, if you have any questions, if you have a favourite product, um, let me know. I'll put all of the information that you need about the box in the description box as always. Um, and I will likely see you all next month for another unboxing or two. Take care.